Hi, this is Dr. Martini, your sexuality expert. The question this week is, how do I bring sensuality into our bedroom? The short answer is, by bringing focus onto your senses. The definition of sensuality is unrestrained indulgence in sensual pleasures. I think having sex should be unrestrained indulgence in sexual, sensual pleasures. But like many other activities, what we've done with having sex is we have made it um, routine-like and definitely goal-oriented. So um, it doesn't have to be that way. You can actually learn about your sensuality, and this is what I'm going to teach you here today. Masters and Johnsons um, were two researchers in the 60s that became famous for their groundbreaking but somewhat controversial research in um, the physiology of human sexuality. Um, what they have done is they have given us, uh, a sex therapist, a lot of different tools to, um, that we, still, we all use, or a lot of us still use 60 years later, to help our clients overcome sexual challenges. One of the main tools they've given us, from, from my perspective, the biggest one is the couples exercise of sensate focus. Sensate focus is an exercise that um, is about touching and being touched, which sounds very simple, but those are two very distinct activities in having sex. Um, <clears throat> what they have done is they have um, constructed a, a program that goes over five phases. And if you do the exercises like instructed, and if you're sticking with it, then it will reawaken your sensory appreciation. It will increase your intimacy and trust, and it will bring sensuality back into your bedroom. Um, what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna give you the elements of sensei focus and um, the exercise. I'm going to describe the exercise for phase one, which I want you to do between now and next week. And then next week we're going to do phase two and three, and then the following week, phase four and five. Let's get started with this wonderful, amazing tool. I want to make sure that I mention that Sensate Focus is a couples-based intervention. It can be used for couples of all different ages different gender identities, and different sexual orientations. It is about building intimacy, trust, and about arousing the senses. First, I want to give you the elements of sensate focus. Partners have mutual responsibility for addressing sexual needs and concerns. Information and education about sexual function and sexual activity. Willingness to change attitudes about sex. Getting rid of sexual performance anxiety. Helping couples improve communication around sex and sexual techniques. Reducing problematic behaviors and sex roles in the relationship. Homework to help couples change their sexual relationship for the better. Mutual responsibility is critical because it frames sexual difficulties as a problem of the couple and not of the individual. And without following and doing the structured homework assignments, nothing will change which makes those the two most important elements of sensate focus. Okay, now let's get us to the exercise of phase one. I'm going to give you the instructions for the toucher, the receiver, and the instructions for both of you. And let's start with those. Each gets a turn touching each other's body. You both get to be one that touches and the one who is being touched. Be rested, relaxed, showered, and feeling kind to one another. This exercise will not work if there's underlying tension. Make sure that you both are in for this with an open mind. Allocate 30 to 40 minutes. You will only massage each other for 15 minutes each, but most likely there will be some discomfort, so you could need some time to get settled in. Toucher sets up the date, warm room, sensual music. And of course, that task will switch. Make sure that you both like the chosen music. Privacy and reduce distractions. Be nude. Sunset focus relies upon skin-to-skin -skin contact. Either partner can ask to end the touching. Don't touch to the point of boredom. If partner falls asleep, do the exercise when you both are more rested. 
No oral sex, no intercourse, even if sexually aroused. Don't turn this exploration into a sexual encounter, even if you get sexually aroused. Avoid comparing touching styles. This will take you out of your body and into your mind, and we don't want to do that. Now, the duties of the toucher are the following. You are not giving a massage. This exercise is to find enjoyment in touching and becoming aware to what your partner's body really feels like. Do not attempt to arouse your partner sexually. Focus on your own sensations while you are touching the body. Touch what interests you. Don't touch in a way that you think will make your partner happy. Notice what your partner's body feels. Pay attention to what you're feeling in your hands. Play a texture awareness game. Notice differences in the surface of the skin on different parts of the body. Notice warmth, smoothness, explore. Change the rhythm of the touch. Also vary firmness of the touch. Fingertips, whole hand, both hands. Be inquisitive and interested. And don't take a break when you switch the roles. Also avoid talking. Just stay in your body. Now, when you're the receiver, have an open mind. Please have no preconceived notions. I know this may be difficult, but that is why it is important to do this exercise when you feel loving towards your partner. Avoid being judgmental. Judgmental thinking boxes us in. No evaluative thinking. If you're thinking what is good, boring, or ecstatic, you become an observer but I want you to be a participant. Be a participant, not an observer. Observing brains are blocked from experiencing. Focus on your own sensations. This is a chance for you to become familiar with your own sensations, what your body feels like when it's being touched. While being touched, do not think about reciprocating. Stay with your own pleasure. Speak of if something is uncomfortable. This is the only time when there should be a dialogue, when you're not comfortable with what is being done to your body and when you want to stop the exercise. Now you have clear instructions for the famous Sensit Focus exercise. To wrap it up, I want to give you four important points about this wonderful technique. Sensit Focus is about touching and being touched. It's about refocusing on your own sensory perception and appreciating new central possibilities. Orgasms are never the focus. This is to minimize pressure and expectations. Touching genitals and breasts is not allowed. Without genital touch, there is no pressure and it takes stressful behaviors off a couple's sexual menu. And now both partners can focus on their own sensual perception and learn about their own sensual awareness. Sensate focus works because it refocuses the participants on their own sensory perceptions and sensuality, instead of goal-oriented behavior focuses on the genitals and penetrative sex. Sensate focus has been used by sex therapists, including myself, for many years. We use it to treat problems with body image, erectile dysfunction, orgasm disorders, and lack of sexual arousal. It is an amazing tool to heighten your sexual experience and to bring sensuality back into your sex life. So this was phase one of Sensei Focus. What I would like for you to do is, is between now and next week, I would love for you at least once to do this exercise. And, um, if you have experiences with any exercises that you need help, please give me a call. I'm right here, I will talk you right through it. And then the next week I will see you with phase two and three. Have fun practicing and I will see you then.